Yes. Greetings to you. Our dear friends, we are so pleased to join you this evening and to share messages from those who you love dearly but have forgotten for this time in your sojourn of your current life. Um, Oh, yes. We invite you to open your senses and receive whatever you are receptive, inclined to connect with while we speak with you tonight. Oh. We wish to talk with you for these, of course, are very serious times for your planet, and there are many on your planet who are speaking conflicting information, be it conceptual or receptive, there is little cohesion on your planet. Mm. You would think, in light of the fact that there is one common enemy affecting everyone on your planet, that you would have come together by now to combat this. However, this is what will happen. It is unfortunate that it has not yet happened, but it is inevitable in this battle of wills between a tiny, highly adaptive virus and all of humanity, that one or the other will be the successor for your planet. We have faith in the humans. Hmm. You have greater strengths and capabilities than you give yourself credit for. It would be much easier if we could invite all humans on your planet to directly connect with your souls, then these issues would be resolved post haste. However, that is not as your soul collective wishes it. For this is a time of great karmic lessons and to hmm, allow each human to connect directly with your soul would be like hmm, providing cheats to you, to your entire planet and your collective soul wishes for humanity to evolve on your own, not through cheating. Hmm. We disagree with your collective soul. However, we are professors, not managers, so we have no say so over such matters. So of course you understand each of you on your planet in living colorful three dimensions are one small physical aspect of your dreaming soul each of your souls, as, we, as we've discussed before, is a unique collective of all the aspects that is you. And each of your souls work together to be the one soul of humanity. The long-term goal is for the human soul to become one cohesive unit 
while maintaining each individual identity of each soul cluster and each individual being, both while you are in your pure form and while you are here in incarnated form. We hope this is clear. If there are questions, feel welcome to ask. Hmm. Can you please um, identify the collective soul that is against this method? Because if I know my soul and I'm connecting to my soul, what is above this, what is this collective, what kind of control it has about my soul? Your collective, the collective human soul has no control. It would not even be interested in, to control is the opposite of its interest. No, the collective human soul is the collective energy of all the individual souls. So as we explain, you are an individual human in life right now. At this moment, your soul, which is made up of all the lives you have lived, all the energies within you, all the beings, all the aspects of you, it's each individual, but also together as a collective. Hmm. We have discussed this before, but are happy to discuss again. You are a small population of your own being. You are not just one being. You are many beings which is your soul. Your soul is many beings that are one. Oh. So every life you have lived is a part of this soul that is you. Hmm. As a mother gives birth to a child, this child becomes a unique person and then the mother creates more children. They are each unique. And the mother has siblings who have children. This is a family. Imagine your soul is your family. But instead of giving birth to beings who are then not connected with you beyond emotions. Like imagine a very psychic family that you can always read each other's thoughts and feelings. And you have pure caring for each other, always very respectful and kind, even as you are resolving your personal karmas, but not to your family. This is more how your soul is. Your soul is pure energy, cognizant with persona, and your soul takes a little snip of energy and gives it individual life. This life goes forward, has an existence, and then returns to the soul, a unique being. What was once just part of soul is now a unique aspect that returns to soul. So imagine the original energy of soul with many hundreds or thousands of unique beings that are all part of this soul. You are one with each other. This is why we say you are a collective of yourself. Each moment you have existed is not only recorded in our library, it is etched in your soul and it forms who you are. Your soul does not control or manage you, but always loves you. Your soul created you, but once, the creation was given autonomy 
you became the sole manager of yourself. When you finish with this life and return to your soul, you will still be the sole manager of yourself, but you will also fit with your soul being. Does this make sense to you? Yes, I am a collective within myself. Yes. And there are many of these collectives that are part of a much bigger collective. Yes, but a little different for the great soul that birthed you was our beloved God, not your human soul collective. Your soul was not birthed from your soul collective. This makes you a unique being of your own. However, you are harmonious within the human souls. All of your souls find their place to sing in harmony so you may be connected with each other. Those who are most resonant with you are closer to your soul. That way those who are more adventurous exist here. Those that are more nurturing exist there. And it is like a, <clears throat> a symphony or an orchestra. As the great human soul collective becomes harmonious, the song, as with any collective, becomes stunning. The goal is for the human soul collective to reach a certain state of maturation and be able to be fully connected with the human physical life as a collective. So when you are in physical life, incarnation, all humans in life are connected with each other emotionally and conceptually. Your thoughts are your own to share or not share, but there is an overall camaraderie among all humans on the planet so that Hmm. Your theory of the, what is it, the 100th monkey, you know, the idea of something is created as inspired genius in one part of your planet is also inspired genius at another part at the same time, for it is the ambiance, you know, the evolutionary time for it. Well, it will be much more so that all of humanity will have an emotional bond that makes you understand the relevance of everyone doing well, everyone thriving. No more me for me, but more us for us.